We now have free online courses available at www.aronium.co.uk. Head over to our website and take a look at the three courses that are available to you to expand your knowledge on gold and silver. And today we will be discussing sovereigns along with guineas. I hope you enjoy today's video. So the first coin up today is the 1989 Great British Double Sovereign with an NGC 69 Ultra Cameo Grade. So for those of you that don't know much about grading, I'll give you a little explanation. I apologise for those of you that do know what this means, uh, but just bear with me. So the PF stands for proof which is what this coin is, it's a proof coin. The 69 means it's a fully struck coin with nearly imperceptible imperfections. So any imperfections are pretty difficult to see. And the ultra cameo applies only to proof coins. And it basically means the fields are deeply mirrored and the devices are heavily frosted for bold contrast on both sides of the coin. Okay, so the Bernard Sindel design, which is on the reverse and the observe of this coin, was to celebrate the 500th anniversary of the first gold sovereign for Henry VII in, nine, uh, in 1489. The original sovereigns were intended to be used as a symbol of Britain's importance and wealth to impress the rest of Europe. Designed by a sculptor, Bernard Sindel, the observed engraving features Elizabeth II sat on the throne, as you see here. The Queen faces forward in a modern interpretation of the original design of the 1489 gold sovereign and the inscription is set in a medieval style type font and the reverse features the royal arms shield surmounted on a crowned double Tudor rose and the original use of the Tudor rose symbolized the success and prestige the new Tudor dynasty in 1489. And again, the reverse bears the medieval style inscription. So this coin's diameter is 28.4 millimetres. And like I said, it's a double sovereign. And in troy ounces, it's 0.471. And it's 22 karat gold. Next up is the 1825 Bearhead Gold Sovereign. And it was one of two sovereign designs that were issued in that year. This is the new design which took over from the design of the previous sovereigns during King the Fourth's reign. And the head design on the observed side was changed by the removal of the laurel leaf crown that sat here to create the bare head design. The reverse side was changed from Benito's St George design of the previous years to a crown shield design. And the inscriptions were also changed. 
and the inscription reads Georgius Fourth de Gratia. And it also includes small oval flowers which separates the inscription from the date which is inscribed below the portrait. And you can see the inscription, Georgius V. De Gratia. And the reverse. Shows John Baptiste Mer Merlin's design of a crown shield. And this inscription reads Britanniarum Rex Vid Death. And it's 22 karat gold and it weighs 7.98 grams with a pure gold content of 7.322 grams. And its diameter is 22 millimetres. Our trade desk publishes a weekly gold news report which is accessible to all for weekly downloads. Head over to our website today and sign up for these free weekly gold news reports. Next up, we are going to talk about guineas. So I have two here. Okay. So, soon after the restoration of Charles II, the gold coinage had become denominated by a new coin of 20 shillings. At this time, gold for minting was supplied by the African company that traded along the Guinea coast of West Africa. And as a result, the new coin was soon named the Guinea, first by popular use and then officially. The coin's actual value fluctuated until finally stabilising at 21 shillings but it was to become one of the most important coins in British history. It was struck by each monarch in turn until the coinage reform that came following the Napoleonic Wars. In the reign of George III, guineas were struck nearly every year between 1761 and 1799. At this point, their minting ceased due to the hazards of important gold from overseas during the war with France. The last guinea, sometimes known as the military guinea, as it was largely struck to pay for the expenses of war, was issued in 1813. The specifications of the coins vary slightly throughout the 151 years of its life. And guineas were minted in the UK between 1663 and 1813. The guinea was eventually replaced by the smaller gold sovereign worth 20 shillings in 1817. And these are made of 22 karat gold. And I'll turn these over again so you can see the backs. But here we have two different dated coins. We have got one from 1775 and one from 1798. So we've got the 1798 one here. And the 
1778. With two different designs on the rear of the coin. However, both of them have the same design on the front. If you are interested in purchasing a sovereign or a guinea, we try to keep these in stock as we offer attractive buyback rates for British gold coins. Our website will show you the current prices for the coins and availability. The link to our website is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video please like, follow, subscribe and share and see you soon.